Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B Investing in BI. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Paribus staking. Don't just buy the dip. As we now enter the third month of our incredibly successful Paribus staking program, the lockup period is expiring for some of our early investors, and they're wondering how best to proceed. Our current staking pools are Arius, Argenti, and Aurum, which have reward periods ranging from 90 to 365 days, and lockup periods ranging from 60 to 300 days. The lockup period marks the point at which you'll incur a 30% slash penalty for early withdrawal, for instance. The Arius pool has a 90-day reward period and a 60-day lockup period. The reward period begins from the date the pool first opened, uh, 28th of December 2021, whereas the lockup period runs from the day you first stake your tokens. If you staked when the Arius pool first opened, you would exit the lockup period while there's still 30 days of rewards remaining. This means from that point on, you can withdraw your tokens from the pool and you won't receive any slash penalty, but you will stop receiving additional rewards or you can keep your tokens staked in the pool and continue to receive rewards until the expiration of the remaining rewards days, after which time you won't receive any additional rewards. That's kind of confusing, uh, I would say, for noobs. So basically what happens is a lot of times when you stake your tokens in pools, you have a lockup period if they're doing a lock. So for instance, let's say if the, if the, the, uh, the stake is going to run for 30 days, uh, you would stake at any time in that period, you would go until the end of the reward cycle. Then there's a lockup period. So there might be a lockup period of an additional 30 days. So you would actually have to keep your tokens in for 60 days unless uh, you want to uh, get a penalty. Like say you staked an amount and down the line, some stuff happened and you needed, you needed the money. So you needed to pull it out. Well, you're going to, you're not going to receive a slash in your initial stake, but your rewards will be slashed. So that's what they're talking about. Uh, but if you're following me, you know, you don't overextend yourself. You don't invest what you can't afford to lose. So you've got nothing to worry about. You've got the amount of tokens that you can afford to sit in the pool for 30 days, 60 days, a year if you, if you wanted, just because we're investing wisely. We're not throwing our rent money, our mortgage money, the kids braces fund. We're not doing that stuff. So we're doing it the right way to withdraw your tokens including a reward, you'd need to exit the staking contract, which doesn't automatic, that doesn't happen automatically. So if you don't withdraw your tokens, they remain in the pool, but they won't occur, uh, accrue any more tokens after the reward period has ended. So got to make sure, you got to make sure to take your tokens out when everything is done. I mean, we've seen this with the min swap. Um, uh, what is the, the min swap uh, liquidity bootstrapping event? People didn't, didn't convert their per ADA. Like, what are you doing? How do you forget? It was like 300,000 ADA still left after the time had expired. Uh, thankfully, uh, MinSwap didn't just say too bad, too sad. And they airdropped the tokens to the people. But that, it's crazy. You, you sit here and you say, well, why would you leave your money in the pool? People do it. That is why uh, they put that. Because people do it they freaking forget i don't know how you forget you have tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars invested somewhere i would it, it's a that is a great problem to have in my opinion a great problem <laughs> um so let's take a look at this next section here that's a nice cool house look at that Wh whose house is that's going to be our house that's going to be where we party at after the paribus goes to the moon the paribus moon boy party uh, given the tremendous success of the staking program, the current market dip, and low Ethereum gas fees, some people are choosing to withdraw from their first stake pool and restake them in one of the longer pools. No one likes gas fees, but the consensus, the consensus amongst participants in the staking program is that the rewards greatly outweigh the gas, which is why so many people are looking to withdraw and deposit into one of the longer, the longer pools. The Argenti pool, for instance, currently has a dynamic annual percentage yield, APY of just under 115%, and still 
has another four months of its reward period remaining. The Arum pool has a lower dynamic APY, but still has 10 months in its reward period remaining. These levels of APY automatically adjust according to how popular the pools are and will never fall below 25 or 30% respectfully. When you stake your PBX tokens, you need to make sure they're in a MetaMask wallet and authorize uh, that the, con the connect with the Paribus staking app. Be careful of imposters and make certain you are on the official staking app. This is super important. You do not want to be interacting with fake uh, fraudulent contracts. Make sure you use this address. Make sure you do it. Make sure. There, these, these guys out here, these hackers out here are so clever. They do things like they'll put, you know, paribus.stake.io and you think it's real. You manually typed it in. You're like, oh, yeah, that's it. And it's a complete fake. They'll, they'll put an extra E, you know, on things to just, just make sure if you're, you're doing this, make sure you go to the official website. Make sure you click the official links. Always double check. Always stay paranoid, people, when it comes to your money. The process of staking requires that you choose which pool to join, and each one has a different minimum and maximum staking level. For instance, the mid and long-term pools, Argenti and Arum, require a minimum level of 500,000 PBX and 1 million PBX, respectfully. Um... They also have a maximum limit of 3 million PBX and 6 million PBX, man. It's a lot of PBX, man. I know a lot of you guys out there have, have those big balance, big balances of PBX. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, when you choose which pool to stake in and are sure you have sufficient PBX tokens, you'll be required to authorize two consecutive transactions that incur two separate gas fees. Always change, uh, fees always change depending on the Ethereum network, but can be around $70, $75 in total on average. Um, at present, some people are timing their transactions to take advantage of the low gas fees, and by doing so, can cost as little as $20 in total. That's what I do. I've been waiting like in the middle of the night to do my transactions, but with all of the, the outflow of cash in the crypto markets, uh, Ethereum's usage has been down, and I've seen it is like lower than I have ever seen it in the daytime, which is pretty cool. So if you're doing those transactions, definitely make sure you use like a gas tracker. Um, it can, however, cost more. So we recommend you check the gas fees first using a tracker such as Etherscan, and they have the little link there for you. Uh, and ensure you have sufficient ETH in your MetaMask wallet to avoid any costly failed transactions. That is the biggest problem I've seen with people or they didn't have, they tried to use everything they had, um, or they bought PBX on Uniswap and they didn't have Ethereum or they used all their Ethereum to buy the PBX and then they didn't have any left for transactions or they never use Ethereum and they they went from KuCoin to MetaMask and then didn't have any Ethereum in the MetaMask to pay the fees to stake and then they ended up with failed fees and lost a bunch of money. So don't do that. Make sure you have Ethereum for gas. Um, gas fees are universally hated by people in the cryptocurrency space, but they're unavoidable at present. The reason so many people are buying the dip and restaking in longer pools is that the rewards they've received are far higher than any anticipated, uh, even when accounting for the gas fees occurred. As previously mentioned, the APY is dynamically set according to pool saturation. So these these rates are likely to change. However, they will never fall below the guaranteed minimum rates of 25% for the Argenti pool and 30% for the Arm pool. To give a comparison, if you were to buy 1 million PBX at the current rate and stake them in the Arm pool, by the end of the rewards period, you would have accrued 250,000 PBX in rewards at minimum rate of 30 APY. So $11,000 stake would yield 2750 uh, of rewards over 10 months at today's approximate prices. Should the price of PBX increase over the 10 months, your stake and yield would also increase in value, giving you much higher returns. And that's all at the guaranteed minimum APY levels. The dynamic APY for Arum is sitting 
at just under 80% at the time of writing, so the actual rewards are likely to be significantly higher. So make sure, make sure you uh, pay attention, do the math, and make sure you do uh, what's right for yourself. For those wanting more details on the staking, you can join the official Telegram group. They got the link there. Link's also in the description of this video, uh, where we have a vibrant community ready to answer any questions you've got. In these uncertain times, it makes sense to hold on to your crypto. And for PBX holders, the timing is perfect to dive into our staking pools and earn some incredibly incredible yield rates while it's waiting for the market to settle and the value of PBX to grow. So that's a cool little article reminding you about staking, hitting some key points on what to look out for, some mistakes. Uh, I think this is a good article. Definitely helpful. Um, you know, hindsight being 2020, I wish a lot more details were available in the beginning since there were so many new people uh, trying to do this and a lot of them just didn't understand the fact that you needed to have Ethereum in your MetaMask to pay those gas fees. And a lot of people unfortunately lost lost some money um, by making that mistake. But, you know, that, that expensive mistake is a very cheap lesson. Uh, they'll never make that mistake again for sure. Uh, also, probably explaining the dynamic um, percentages on the pools would have probably driven more people to stake. Um, but they're, they probably, I don't know, either they this just didn't think of that or they just didn't want the pools to fill up instantly. I mean, that, that could have been it. Um, you know, because we all kind of felt that the market was wavering and people were saying that we were going to run into a bear market. Uh, so I think, uh, maybe they just wanted to have some runway for that when the bear market, came there would be room left in those pools and people could just you know instead of dumping they could just throw them in the staking pools and get those rewards i think um i think if that was the play uh it was it was intelligent play smart worked out um and if it wasn't um you know hindsight hindsight's 2020 you can always improve after you see the failure so good article i'm liking it stake your pbx if you have enough uh you know Make sure you take advantage of those opportunities that are given to you. So we've covered the staking quite a bit, but this was a, a uh, March 2nd uh, Medium article that they posted reminding you about the stake pools. So thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like, hit that share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.